Hi everybody, welcome very much to game number three out of the Elite Classic 2 Grand Finals. It is Marine Lord on the color pink, representing Team M8, Team Mate. Ah, Team Mate, Team Mate, Mate, you know, teammates. Playing as the Delhi Sultanate versus Puppy Paw 1. Representing his individuality, playing on the color blue, playing as the Byzantines. And let me tell you guys, I think this is Puppy Paw's newest, strongest civilization. He's been playing beautifully with this civilization. Even though he lost to BC yesterday, playing as the Byzantines, he still played really, really well. And this is very, very uh, Puppy Paw esque, building that first olive grove as the opener just to get that little bit of extra oil right now and the map is good old Lipany. Lipany is also back to the rank ladder and actually glad i'm really enjoying playing Lipany. by the way guys catch me live on twitch using the links down below and if you enjoy the content here on the youtube leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also catch marine lord puppy paw and egc tv live on twitch as well and we have the daily Versus the Byzantines. Hold on, I really don't like this camera angle that they gave us here. I think this is better. Maybe maybe like this? Maybe like this is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually very interesting because if you change the camera around, you see the buildings in a very different way. Because we are always used to see them like this. But if when you look at them like that, like the town center looks very, very different, right? And the mask is so different. But we always see them like this, right? We kind of get used to it. But there you go. I think like this, it's a good angle for us. It's a bit weird, uh, to be honest. Uh, I really like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's better. But yeah, Byzantines versus Delhi. I think it's a very, 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 very good matchup for the Byzantines if they don't allow the Delhi player to just run uh, away with the game by building multiple keeps and starting spam villagers. If they do that, it actually gets tough for the Byzantines to do something. But... If that doesn't happen, or if the Byzantines are able to consistently do damage, I think it's actually a hard matchup for the Delhi. Right? Delhi, perhaps the strongest civilization in feudal, but now they have a strong adversary because the Byzantines they remove the weighted clothes, they remove the, the weights from Rock Lee's uh, legs, and now they're running at full speed. They don't need to pay the 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 contract it's immediately and it's free so they can make way more units out of oil in the feudal age and that gives them huge flexibility usually against delhi they go with the javelin throwers because they usually goes gas generator and archer and then you go limit a limit nine limit nine which is a, a good uh counter it's a very good counter to gas generators and then they can the nice against archers because of the shield wall ability. Which was nerfed though, right? The shield wall ability was indeed nerfed. But it's still very, very good. Power of victory coming up, giving 20% attack speed to all units coming out, all infantry units coming out of this uh, Wi-Fi zone of the Delhi Sultanate. Now look at these four relics. Very close to each other. It's Lipony, baby. These weird cliffs and whatnot. Right. Puppy Paul coming in with some more olive groves, actually. So I think as soon as he can, as soon as he has some wood, he drops an, an olive grove. This still costs 75, right? No, it's actually cheaper. They cost 60. Grand Winery comes up, because now the Olive Groves are already providing extra oil because of the Grand Winery, right? Wait, how much gold does the uh, Byzantines gather olive oil equal to 20% of the food they gather? I mean, now 60% more, right? So it will be 80%, 60 plus 20, right? Gazi Raiders coming through for Marine Lord. 
I'm not sure how I'm, I'm not I'm not sure if how that works actually because it's plus 60 so it, it could be just 60 percent or 60 plus 20 making it 80 percent in oil right puppy Paul coming through with the aqueduct structure archery range and stable as well coming in hot Scholars into the buildings. No, moving out into the buildings, yes. Sanctity coming in at 1 minute and 40. Porcenda. It's 20 of 60. Come on, Omada. Sabor, Omada. 20% of 60%? Come on, I thought about that as well, but then I was like, that's kind of ass. Right? <laughs> Okay, a lot of oil already in the bank for uh, Papi Po Mercenary House coming up online right now as we speak. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the um, Javan Thrower contract. So yeah, so it's a 12% bonus. It's kind of ass. I don't know if it is. No, it's actually... Oh, wait, it was so fast. Shit. Uh, it's the Kashyyyk contract, I think. Right? No. Oh, no, it's a Javan Thrower contract. Yeah. So, hold on, hold on. So, the farm itself gives 20%. Right? And then this gives 60% more. So, it goes to 44%. Yeah, wording in AOE 4 is Cat W. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. Sometimes it's really bad. You'll be, like, very confused. So, it should be... 12% more, so 32% collection. I mean, yeah, they need to be very careful with those bonuses, because then with the, the level of cisterns, the villagers will gather more, and then the bonuses will, will be applied to more of that gathering, and, it, and then it can go crazy, right? <laughs> you guys heard these linings all on top of each other, because you need to spawn all at the same time. Four javelin throwers, one sacred site, four marine lord team from teammate. Oh my bad, guys. All right, all right. Marine lord trying to do something here, but he can't. 10 archers and 2 Ghazis versus 12 Ghazi versus 12 Limitane and 4 Jalen throwers. Oh, you bought denying one of the sacred sites. Alright, all good, all good. The sacred site being neutralized here by Puppy Paul. Marine Lord does not have anybody on there. But they're walling, they're walling. This is good, this is good. We are focusing the attention of the enemy somewhere else and they wall the sacred site. That's good, that's good. But to limit an A, limit nine, limit an A. Coming in. Secret side being neutralized. We bought... No, Marine Lord bringing more units. 17 archers, 3 Gazis. Over here we have 17 Limitanes and 8 Javan throwers. We need some more, yeah, more Javan throwers coming through. Let's see how much oil per minute we have. 412, uh, but the berries ran out. So, because that was like almost one batch of javelin throwers per minute. 
Four javelin throws per minute. But not really right now. Limitane walking around. What is you going? What is that Limitane going? Over there, just finishing the sacred site. Okay, everything is chilling. We have calm, a lot of calm before the storm. My people very close to the castle age. I'm halfway through, literally. On both gold and food. Collecting a lot of food now. Is he on like... He's on the berries over there. Okay, no cistern though. No more stone. Or the cistern. He's happy on level 2 of the water level. His villagers are not that thirsty. Alright. Iron under mesh completed for Marine Lord. Yeah, it's a delay upgrade, it takes some time to come through. Separate side being captured again. Marine Lord also get, coming closer to the uh, castle edge, but I think they were buying some food. Because they have very little gold. Right? We bought aging up with the golden horn tower. Oh yeah, buying scholars, you're right. He's up to four scholars. Yeah, he was buying scholars. True, 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 true. It's like uh, 130 gold, right? For each scholar. Yeah, 130, so... It's quite expensive. You gotta pay for all their books. Marine Lord, I'll switching up. Compound of the Defender. On the backhand, we have the upgrade contract. Uh, yes, we already do. So, okay, it's gonna be a bunch of javelin throwers coming out for Puppy Po. Up to 12 now. He'll be up to um, 18. No, because they also get 4 out of here, right? So, they'll be up to 20 javelin throwers. That will do, I think that will deal very well with 26 archers. Marine Lord attacking while aging up. I'm not sure about that. I don't think he has enough units to do something here. Maybe he just like forcing Puppy Ball to defend instead of attacking, right? Marine Lord on three sacred sites, but only one is walled. The other two are open, and he already took a relic. Already took two relics. Remember Puppy Paul, he also wants relics to put in the oil machine. What's that? Oh, just, yep, yeah, nothing too difficult to guess. Sacred side being neutralized, two of them. Puppy Paul moving up the field. All the technologies in the world being researched by the Delhi. But most importantly, Village Fortress. Scholar can be sniped here. Yep, yep, Scholar sniped, Secret Site neutralized, and another Secret Site neutralized. Marine Lord is now buying gold, so that's all good. Good engagement here. The Jaden Thrower is doing great work. But the Limita and I are kinda being. The, uh oh. Uh oh. This is very bad for Puppy Paw. His front line was completed. Bro, oh, it was the Man at Arms? It, oh man, this was so bad actually. At first it seemed good, but then the Man at Arms attacking faster, right? Bro, they, they need to change their swords. Their swords look so bad actually. But, yeah, tough fight for Puppy Paw. 
Maybe he didn't real I didn't realize like I knew there were many times in there, but I didn't realize it was so many of them. Maybe the same for him. Because he has no scout. So he can see the numbers coming through. And we need crossbows for people. I don't because Varengen and Guards will not do it. Because then he many times will attack faster. Oh! I think uh, Middle Lord will get into new spears now. Many times coming here to help. What is the level of water on Puppy? Three. Okay, so his units are his, his units are getting out faster. But Puppy Paw can uh, Middle Lord can also do the same and faster right now. But only on the archery range. No more scholars inside. No, on the barracks too. Back there. I thought so. Archers, crossbows, and men at arms here. Oh, but Pippo needs to do. Nah. Mm, mm, I don't. Mm, mm, mm. Pippo grabs. He has one relic at home. He's grabbing another one. Ah! No! The monk goes down! That's tough. Jalen throwers on the retreat. Hey, Paul lost one relic. He wants that relic to have extra oil. Let's go for income per minute, my man. Forgot about it. 300 oil per minute. Not bad, not bad. Hey, Paul walking up. He still wants that relic. He's fighting for it. But he needs a counter to the many times from Puppy Paul. Maybe if you activate uh, the in range ability for uh, Varegan guards, you can do it. Right? The Berserk. We both does have 21 uh, Varegan guards, but Marine Lord has 20 men at arms and they will attack faster. That's that's my main my main concern. But the, I think if you activate Berserk, you should be good, right? But then you lose armor. You do six more damage, but you lose and you, you attack faster, right? No, you just deal you just deal more damage. But you lose two you lose four armor, but you do six plus damage. So it's a difference of two. So you you're doing six more. It all depends on the enemy armor too, right? Uh, let's go, Puppy Paw got the relic he wanted. Nice. He has more units, though. 32 Javelin Throwers. Bro, I don't care. Those crossbows will from Marine Lord will not... You know, they will not live for long. But people... He says it's time. Knock, knock. You home or what? 30 Varengen Guards. No, they're not all here. Here we have only... Uh, 23. Upgrades. Let's see. Only plus one attack for Puppy, and but only also one only plus one melee defense for Marine Lord, so things should be good here. What is the army for? Oh, wait, what is? Oh, bro, he, he really doesn't want to fight. He's, uh, he's he's waiting for the Manganel because of those javelin throwers. Uh oh. Six five melee armor versus fourteen damage, so it, it could be. 20 damage. No Berserker. That's... Oh, that's a tough... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Manganel is out on the choke point. Marine Lord fighting in the handlies of his base. That's a great strategical spot. His men at arms are being deleted, though. Great Manganel shot once again. And Puppy Boy is forced to retreat. Even though he had more units. But fighting on the back handlies is not great for the melee units. Damn! Good fight for Marine Lord. He leaves for a couple more minutes. The people needs his own siege. Some camel riders were spawned from the um, Golden Horn Tower. We still have no keeps for Marine Lord, right? He was mining stone. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, okay. This, this, we are entering the bad part for the Byzantines. Maybe people learn something from the game. Yes, there. No, I thought it was a second TC, but it's not. We need a second TC immediately for Puppy Paw. Because then Marine Lord can build another keep and another keep and another keep. And the villager lead will just be out of control for Marine Lord. Puppy Paw wants to push in. They want to do more damage. 
and make sure that the villager lead is that doesn't really matter. They have a very good military advantage. They have a sprinkle on the way. They have still only plus one def attack melee. And they have no melee defense though. So those Varangian guards. I don't, I don't I don't know if they can use the Berserk ability, right? They do 14 damage. Those guys over there do 13. So they do one less damage. Okay. So on, they, they should win on 1v1. Wait, what, what's the attack speed? Attack speed 138. Oh, they attack. Oh, that's true. They attack faster. 112, bro. They attack so fast. So, uh, yeah, using Berserk will be bad because they will take more damage with a reduced armor, right? It's complicated. I think Bobby Po is uh, going against a wall here. Not much he can do. He needs Siege. Making a Kairi... No, Kairosiphon is coming all the way from the base. He's on level 4 of water. And that's the advantage of the Byzantines is they can produce faster from all buildings. The belly, they need the, the prelates inside of the building, so not, not all buildings will be producing faster. But people with one sacred site and two relics, but the relics are on the oil machine, producing only, only 160 oil per minute. Mm. With two relics. I mean, yeah. Manganel is there. There. Wait, there is another one. Another, another Manganel too. All the scholars are out. They're not healing, though. They're not healing. Scholars heal! No, they went into the musk. Okay. Jalen Thrower is doing a good work killing the crossbows. Look, look! It's a flank! The Varangian guards on the back! It's a good sandwich tactic! Want some deadly sandwich? Wait, where is the front line? Poor Marine Lord. His men at arms are. No, they are there. In the back. The Jalen Thrower is killing villagers at this moment. They're not killing units. The Varangian Guards, four people are dying. Springled. Uh, exposed, but the Varangian Guards and Camel Rider taking care of the Man at Arms. The Javelin Throwers now being attacked by the Man at Arms from Manir Lord. They must run away. Those guys attack extra fast. Good front line of the Varangian Guards, but they're taking extra damage from the crossbows. Marine Lord lost a bunch of units, but they have the right units. But people, they have more units, but don't have the right units. Oh, Delhi keep! Another one. Another one. That is so fun. Burning it down. People still with more units. But once again, they don't have the right units. Yes, they are counter the crossbows. But they cannot counter the men at arms. People, people just need 10 crossbows, perhaps. Right? Keep is going down. More units arriving for people. In terms of economy, Marine Lord is struggling with food. There are 10 villagers ahead. They lost 21 villagers, though. That's actually very good. Bobby Paul keeping those numbers low. But Marine Lord is now on 3 TCs. If you think about it. But no farm transition for Marine Lord. Right? People on the deer can go for more deer. Already on a farm transition. No second TC yet. He has enough stone for it. He has enough wood and stone for a second TC. We're gonna see that. Keep is going down. Manganel for the people taking damage from the keep. I think the people they have no archery ranges. Yeah, they don't. They have no archery ranges. They're still not dropping that second TC. Maybe they, they just want the keep and not the second TC, right? Great game so far. Full of action. Double attack upgrade for Marine Lord. Not in for Puppy Paw. Okay, they're going for the second food upgrade. It's portalization, increasing villagers gathering rate, port food by 15%. So that includes on the farms, 
plus the water levels up to level 5. So everybody is now increased gathered rate for 26%. Keep on the sacred side. Good work for Marine Lord. Right. Marine Lord, look at the, no, people with 700 oil per minute, they can spam. They are spamming um, javelin throwers, maybe build a second mercenary house. I think that will be good. And they can still go for these berries and have even more oil for a couple of minutes. Trebuchet working down that keep. Pepipo still with a lot of uh, stone in the bank, not using for a second TC. Marine Lord running up already 20 bills ahead. 25, 27 villagers ahead. Right? Uh oh, I'm not liking the future of this game for Puppy Paul. They have way more units now. They can't pass through this keep, and this keep is just buying time. Maybe attack on the No! Marine, Marine Lord is one, two, three, four keeps. They are on five town centers. They are on five town centers. Ay, ay, ay. My boys double the units though, but they can't pass through. They want to pass through, but they can't. Because of the keep. They're working the keep, but Marine Lord is just fixing the keep. Four spring odds walking up. And they snipe the trebuchet. Oh my god. Oh my god. A people with a bunch of units, but not enough to force a fight here. Ay ay ay. Let's go, puppy. Let's go, puppy. Puppy's going Imperial. Right there. Aha! Cannons will coming in. French cannons coming in. Super close. Now Papi Paul needs to bring a cistern up here. Build a cistern. Connect it. It's gonna be produced 100 percent faster. Those cannons will be popping out non-stop. But Marine Lord is doing it below too! With the Isar Academy. And that will be a lot of food. A lot of food. Imperial Varangian Guards. Imperial Varangian Guards. But we can now also see from the Mercenary House a super cool unit that we almost never see. It is the Grenadier. That will be so cool. You actually saw some Grenadiers. Oh, more bur the Ferocious Spear. That extra attack speed for the Varangian Guards. Isar Academy actually looks very good. Works as a university and produces food based on the amount of all technologies research. Does not count in placements, alright? There you go, French cannons are here. Men at Arms versus Varangian Guards. Raining guards win because they more. Now they're elite. Bro, the technology is going so fast. Because Middle North is 20 scholars. Those technologies are coming in at a good pace. Let's go, cannons. They start working. But the Springles in the back you can just come up and snipe them. Bro, they do so much damage. The Royal Cannon. Bro, they do. 780 damage. That thing is 65... 6,500 HP, so it's a lot of damage. Oh, nice! Great snipes! Puppy Paul with the Springles, sniping the enemy Springles, and the keeps... That keep will be... The keep will go down. We have more cannons. Two cannons, we have more. We need 900 oil, though. Boom! 
One keep goes down. Marine Lord super ahead on villagers though. 133. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I don't need to make the sounds. The cannons already do the sounds, right? It's awesome though to hear those cannons work. But they're working the keep so fast. Right? Look at that! And can't you research something on the university that makes them do more damage? Gun pop No, I think that doesn't apply to Siege, right? Marine Lord is forced to fight! Varangian guards coming through! And they have camel support! Armor increase for a nearby camel unit! That's so good, actually! Okay, okay, Marine Lord has no chance. This is GG. This is GG. Springles coming through, killing everything. Vergen guards and uh, javelin throwers deleting the unit. But wait, Marine Lord still has 55 units. <coughs> no, 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 no. Because 23 of those units are scholars. The Marine Lord only has 27 units. And they're all crossbows. Remember that. Cannons in the back, working everything on their way. Amazing. And we do have the Grenadiers. But are they from the... here? Or are... They? no, it's the random ones. Alright. Uh, that's it. That's the end. I think Marine Lord does not have enough wood or production to defend like BC did yesterday. He's pumping out some Springles, but it's not enough. He has 27 crossbows and 12 minute arms and that's it. Also a Manganel 4, Puppy Paw. Springles going down for Puppy Paw, hold on. Crossbows again on the back alleys. Nah, that's so bad for Puppy Paw, actually. But the Jalen Throwers are killing the, long the crossbows, so it's all good. Oh, oh Manganel shot, okay, wait, wait. Manganel shot could be huge here for Marine Lord. Ooh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. They're attacking buildings! Oh my god, it's so annoying when your ranged units attack buildings. Because, like, in late game, fighting in the back alleys is so hard to actually micro all of your ranged units, right? Mangano deleted! Well done, Varangian guards. Well done. People want to drop a keep. Maybe Paul killed 42 villagers, only lost two. Everything is looking good here. Nest of bees and cannons in the back. Where are the grenadiers? Only two? God damn it, that's not fun. Marine Lord is struggling, he's only up to 20 units. Spring Lords from Puppy Paul, killing everything that Marine Lord brings to the front line. But more Springles are here for Marine Lord. He has so much food though. If Marine Lord hangs on, he, he can come back. He has 2,000 food in the bank. Keep goes on for Puppy Paw. Uh oh, it's not looking good. They lost a lot of units too. They only 25 units. Siege is being... Oh no. Not again. This is Deja Vu. We saw this yesterday versus Beastie. Marine Lord, uh, Puppy Paw with a great push. But they can't finish the deal, and then Delhi, with their superior economy, because they were pumping villagers non-stop, they just come back and push uh, Puppy Paw back. Puppy Paw also does not have production on the front line, just like yesterday, so they can't keep the push alive. But this time around they have some towers with Manganel emplacements, so that can help. But Marine Lord already with the Bombard. Marine Lord has so much food per minute. Oh my god, I said GG too early, my bad guys. I thought Marine Lord had no time to, to survive, but he went to the back alley. He made a Manganel and that saved his life. It's not over. It's not over. Marine Lord is still in the game. They need a bunch of Springles, though. 
They have three, they need more. They killed a lot of keeps though, which was very good. But Marino Nord is ready to trade. Here we go. Oh no! Villages from Papipo being caught. This is really bad. Bringing guards come back. With the Berserker mode activated, they look so good. With the shields on the back and the Bordeaux capes. Nice. Nice. Good, good. It's, it's, it's Burgundy in English, but the, the term is Bordeaux. Or from the word French. From the French word, I mean. Alright, Puppy Paw is rebuilding. Remember, this is not true. This Marine Lord is up. It's on 48 units. Because 20 of them are scholars, right? I don't know why they, I don't know why they count for military, but they do, so. It is what it is. But look at the economy, bro. I mean, Lord is just too ahead. Puppy Paw does have a lot of food. He's being raided right now. He's switching to horsemen because he has no gold. He has gold in the. Nah, he has 27 gold in the back. He should start trading, but wait. Where? Oh, but there you go. The market is there. He could trade from here. But his base is not secured. Right. Ah! Oh, armored beasts! Coming through! Grant 25% health and 4 ranged armor to war elephants. Oh my god. Oh no. It's, it's early time! Alright, Marine Lord, uh, Papipa defends his base. He has military superiority. Alright, let's take a look at the production on both sides. Hold on, hold on. We'll do that later. Nice. Papipa holds through. Marine Lord switching to uh, hand cannoneers. Production from Puppy Paw, 5 barracks, 3 stables, 1 mercenary house, 2 archery, 2 steed workshops, the Golden Horn Tower, and the Foreign Engineering Company. Hold on. For Marine Lord, we have 6 archery ranks, 8, 18 or 13? 13, 18 barracks. So yeah. Uh, oops. Puppy Paw, no Marine Lord on an advantage here. Marine Lord with more production, more economy, they are trading, but people, they are not trading, they have no gold, and if unfortunately, it's GG for Puppy Paw. They have a lot of Nest of Bees though, but they're being deleted here. What's going on there? Nothing. There, nothing as well. Papipo doesn't even have the third food upgrade. That could really help with uh, more oil per minute. Right? Horseman raid, no walls for Papipo as well here. Alright, time to rest a little bit here. Puppy Paw can rebuild. Oh no, he's being tower rushed. At 40 minutes in the game, he's being tower rushed. Good farming eco, but no walls, right? And he still wants to mine on that big gold, but... He was raided there twice. 
Oh, wait, where is, where is his army? He has 82 units, but I don't see them. Okay, some of them are here. It's, it's going full limitane, limitnai, limitane. Right. Other than that... Oh, there you go, it's in the base! Some raids. Okay, doing well. Alright. Oh, horsemen. Ooh, not horsemen, Gazis. Gazi Raiders. Oh, no. Oh, it's so many of them. It's 32 Gazi Raiders. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, wait. Wait, what's... What? what oh, 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 oh. My bad, guys. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Gazi Raiders doing great work here. Doing great work indeed. It's not looking good for Puppy Paul at all. Being raided on the. Oh no, the, the, the spears are there defending. They're both losing a lot. Look, 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 look. Is this, is the, is this the final push? Can Puppy Paul finish the game now? That's the question. Marine Lord doesn't have a lot of units. Oh, he deleted scholars. He deleted scholars so he can have more units. He had 20 scholars, only 20, only six now. He has 26 hand cannons and 16 men at arms. That's a good army. Oh no, the units from Puppy Paw are getting melted. God damn it. Puppy Paw is back at having some gold. But Marine Lord just has a better eco, right? It's like. Pippo needs to strike swiftly. That's one. All the landmarks from, from Marine Lord are very close to each other. So perhaps delete all the villagers. 200 horsemen. Landmark snipe. Right. That's a good keep, but it's late. It's late. Villagers are forced to retreat. But Pippo can come in and protect the, the, the keep. It is mostly Limitane, right? Mostly Spearman. Against men at arms and hand cannons. That's not good. Good engagement for, for Puppy Pod, though. More villagers will go down here. No, this is really bad. Puppy Pod economy is in shambles. Oh, he's not, he's not making walls, though. He can trade from here to there. He's mining more stone, maybe to drop some walls there. Uh oh, that's actually bad. That going down is actually bad. Right. 4,000 food in the bank for Marine Lord. Easy. Right. Foreign engineering company goes down. No more siege in exchange for oil for Poppy Pop. Where are those villagers going? Oh no. Ah, it's a landmark snipe. All the villagers coming up. All of them. Let's go. Let's go. To Hail Mary for the landmarks. 
Go! Oh, Force March! Marine Lord using Force March to go to his base faster. There we go! Go, Puppy Paul, go! You can do it! It's a landmark snipe. That's one, two, three. Town Center. Oh, wait, Town Center is destroyed already! Right? No, I don't know. Isar Academy is going down. Isar Academy is going down. TC is going down. No way! He can do it! He can! Isar Academy is down. Town Center is down. Tower of Victory is down. It's GG for Marine Lord. No, for Puppy Paw. No fucking way! A good old landmark snipe. Lord Dot is smiling upon Puppy Paw. All the villagers come through. 780 limit on A. Eight palace guards, no, eight Varengen guards, and all the builds come through to finish a game. No way! Great, great. He's like, oh my god! He's like, bro, I'm screwed. Marine Lord has way more eco. He has way more um, trade. He has more production. I don't care. Move it! <laughs> amazing, amazing. Landmark snipe. You didn't... Marine Lord was not expecting it. I'm so sure. Bro, what GG. Well played. Well done, puppy po. Bro, he pushed everything. I mean, I, I, I said, bro, maybe 200 horsemen. No. Pull everything. Villagers, military units, pull everything. Burn the landmarks down. Well played. Good game. Well played. GG WP. Puppy Paw takes game number three. That's right, guys. This is only game number three. I know it seems crazy that it seems like we are already in more games, but no, it's 2 1 for Puppy Paw. Bro, Marine Lord played very well. He was about to win this game. But Puppy Paw said, No, bro. I'm against the wall. I'm against the sword. I'm gonna break the wall. Get out of here. GG, guys. Thank you for watching. Let's go to game number three. No, game number four, I mean.